So many times the ideas that you have developed may look to be simple, but then they may be useful to the society. And therefore, there is no harm. Message and uh, ideas about the IPR among the engineering fraternity. And let's start my talk with general overview. What's about the IPR? So the first and first, for, foremost question comes in your mind. What is the meaning of intellectual power? Hi, At Parvan Institute of Engineering and Technology, our chairman, Dr. Jayesh Bhai Patel, has graciously sanctioned a grant. Let me take care of these situations. This becomes uh, one of the better ones. Uh, that's what I am uh, sorry. So, very happy to be part of this. I am also like to thank uh, Dr. Manish Bhai and GTU for uh, keeping me inviting. Uh, as I said, let's take a couple of minutes about JITCO questions here. JITCO, the organization which I am head now, or I have been now, it's a basic, as I said, market access through efficiency is the central theme of WTO and pattern is a very well part of it. Okay. There are several things. Patent is focused mainly because of the direct impact on the knowledge and economy, in this economy and affects the commission illegally from you and he got it published. So that won't be considered as an anticipation for the patent. Okay? So you can still file. So uh, frankly speaking, I think in the morning we were discussing about the same thing. If somebody uh, happens to comes to know about your invention and he files the uh, he files or he he talks about that. Uh, that particular invention in public, it may not be an anticipation for your invention legally. Another aspect, if you, so most of the, I think, uh, in in the academics, most of the research projects are usually financed by the government sector. It may be AICD, it may be DST, it may be DRD or something. Now, if such kind of a project you are doing, they file because of multiple reasons. Today, if I run a company and I know that, let's say I have filed two patents around a particular technology and I know that Ivan is probably, you know, using that technology, I want to sue him. Will I approach? I will think probably 20 times before approaching IBM because he will come out with 20 patents from his 2 lakh patents and throw it at me. What will I do? I will have to close my shop. Therefore, there are defensive strategies, there are, you know, aggressive strategies, reasons for which they file patents and there are other financial reasons, banding reasons also. Therefore, the question is not all that gets filed can be monetized. I think that is some, some initiative that you know uh, the GTO is taking through various departments and I think this is a very good track along that. Now, some of the decision drivers around patent day. Now, the decision drivers are that what is the cost of protection versus product margin? This is what normally for you it may not be applicable, but for an industry uh, case, these are some of the industry level parameters that you know. What is the basic means of innovations which are being generated by your people who are really economically pure but they are knowledge rate? They come up with a need base. They look at the need of the society. Simple, cost effective and sustainable technology. That is very important, sustainable technology. If technology is not sustain, then technology will not differentiate. Provide technological solution by addressing local problem in an effective way. In other words, it's like that, again generating more from less for more and more. I have taken this example of Arvind Bhai. He is an innovator from he is a very creative man. Though he is economically poor, he has developed so many innovations like natural water cooler, auto earthquake pump, auto compressor. To all the elements. So here you can see the outer body, that is, you can call it barrel. This is a plunger, this is a punch, and Though this inner wall is more important because it's going to be punched by this 
plunger. So this is an inner wall. So this is how you can give name to your invention. But then comes location of the element. So it is not needed to write down where the barrel is located, but it is important to write down where the punch is located. So you can write down that punch is located at the proximal region of plunger. So this is how I have I can write down the location of that punch. Also the position of the thinner wall is important. So in that case I write down that the thinner wall is located inside the barrel at the proximal end of that barrel. Okay? Then work of element. So what is the work of this punch? It is going to punch or it create hole in that thinner wall. So this is how I can write down the work of that element and finally reason for working of that element. How is work. So the forward direction of the plunger is whole. I'm going to write it in the book called India Inside. This is written by a very well-known uh, management uh, professors, Dimmel and Kumar and Harish. Uh, the, the whole book talks around this. Why in India we don't have Google's iPods or Microsoft. Why it is not being uh, created in India. But the whole the whole book talks so nicely. He says their, their argument is that in India we are innovating, but only thing is that the whatever innovation we do or some of the high tech innovation we do, they are not visible to the consumer. And then they cite several several examples like what is happening in Chile, what happened in Intel. In fact, in, Intel launched this particular. Uh, chip. You know, for example, the, from, there is a the first line, very popular first line. Uh, there, uh, there were good times and there were bad times. This tell of two cities. But if you just look at this, and then all the articles, all the pages, Google pages that would actually list the entire phrase would be actually pulled out by the Google. Okay. <clears throat> so here, this what, what you see here at the end is actually the source. Uh, you don't have to go and look at for this copyright source. Uh, you can you can just do Google yourself, and you would find all this information. Or even if you want to really find it out, even more complex tools and codes for Google searching, or the way Google search engine works. The Google itself has a good huge big repository where it tells how actually the Google search search engine search engine are commercially working. So you have an idea, you have find a pattern, but you really don't go ahead and put it in a product form. It has no meaning, right? Cost of innovation, developing, protecting, and commercializing is very high. It's not so easy. If today we think, oh, we go ahead and we have a unique idea, let's file a pattern. But at the end of the day, till the time you reach to a point where you can commercialize, you will really not, never benefit from that. And that's why half the ideas and inventions get killed much before they see the day of life. Light of the day. So many of the 20th century greatest inventions, including televisions, radio, radar, penciling, were not commercialized until decades after they were invented. So they got invented, but they were never commercialized. And when they got commercialized, it became the way of life. And that's what the change can be. A good technology can change a lot for the society, for the nation. Okay, so that's how one should look at patents. That's how one should look at ideas. Now, what are the opportunities? Why we really talk about commercialization? Why we talk about this whole patenting thing? Why do we really need such laws? So these are the things which you can achieve. You can raise entry barriers for competitors. So Qualcomm, they developed and protected a standard called IS95 which is basically a standard for CDMA.